Yo, what's up? And Steve here, and we are back again here at Central Park for another food trip. Today is a celebration. I mean, every day is a gift, right? As soon as you wake up healthy and in good condition, that's God's gift to us, and we need to celebrate that. Today is going to be something legendary as I'm about to devour some good steak here at Cal's Steak Site. Their steak here is tremendous, and what's even more tremendous is that they serve this Kitayama flat iron steak which is locally farmed Wagyu in the mountains of Bukidnon. This is something that we from Mindanao should be proud of. I haven't tried it yet, so if you guys hungry, let's go inside. Kitayama flat iron, medium rare. Yeah. Oh, sige. Yeah, green baby. Tong chicken fillet, four pieces. Yung half wrap lang. Uh, medium. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so while waiting for our order to arrive, we have this here, the peanuts. This is very ironic because if you've been following my channel, you know that I'm not waiting to that spicy food. I'm gonna challenge anyone who can take five pieces of these peanuts in one bite. I will give you one pack of these peanuts. This is extremely spicy kind of peanut. Just one peanut of this is gonna cause you extreme pain, all right? So if you're those kind of people who are really into spicy, this could be your thing. Ghost pepper, Carolina reaper, the Trinidad Maruga scorpion, and the pepper extra. Let me know down in the comments below if you are willing to take this challenge. All right, guys, so our order is finally arrived. Look at these bad boys right here. Look at this one. This layer of smoked, charred piece of the outer meat. This is like the guardian of the juice that's trapped in there while it's getting grilled. And all the juice is just begging for you to finally unleash them with your heavenly blessed bite and spread that flavorful awesomeness inside of your tongue, right? So yeah, before we totally get excited on this one, let's start at the bottom of the food chain. Let's try the chicken first. Right, so this is their chicken steak or chicken fillet steak. Let's try this one. Mm. Their chicken here is not good. It is awesome. Oh my god. The chicken itself is punch me in the face good. It will knock you out for a few seconds. Then the moment you get back to your senses, the first thing that you will notice is that you've been blizzardized by the flavor of this chicken. Try dipping this one in their dipping sauce. Second dipping sauce is savory, it's gravy based. The two dipping sauce that we have here is sweet and savory sauce. Mm. <laughs> the chicken here is <clears throat> awesome. Now let's try one of their green belly. The amount of fat from that bite is just massive. It's almost gelatinous and the subtle bitterness from the smoke gives that extra flavor. Mm. The tsunami of flavorful meat juice inside of my mouth. And when it starts to melt away, it's like I'm being serenaded by the angels of meat heaven. But now let's move on to the Kitayama flat iron steak. Juicy and flavorful piece of Wagyu beef. And what's interesting about this one is because it's locally farmed Wagyu beef in the mountains of Kidnon.
can definitely tell that this was slow cooked to perfection. Mm. Every bite I take, my mouth is filled with so much delightful flavor. It's tender and juicy and meaty piece of red meat that's just immersed in smoke. And every time you chew, the smoky and meaty flavor more and more intense until it goes down your throat and you'll just be begging to repeat that process all over again. This Kitayama state should be crowned, throned, and be a divine for its impeccable being. I mean, it has no flaws. It's so flawless that even the cloud is incomparable to this thing. Now let's try their St. Louis tack ribs. That is so tender that I think that Alger's song should actually be called Love Me Porky. Mm. Chewing is an insult to the tenderness of this thing. I mean, you don't need a teeth for this one. Here's what you do. Just give it a meaty kiss. Better give it some love. He's gonna love you back tenfold. Mm. Fall of the bones, tender. And I also like the herbs they put on top of these ribs. There's some fried garlic and some bean herbs that give that extra aroma that intensifies the flavor of the meat. Mm. And then this gravy sauce here, perfect for the savory flavor that contrasts the taste of the ribs. Mm. In order for you to be able to eat more meat, you need these veggies to reset your taste buds and open up a new space for your tummy. Now let's try their coleslaw salad. Really good. Fresh vegetables. The dressing tastes like Thousand Islands. Alright, so for dessert guys, we have here the waffle alamo. Waffles, vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup, and some graham. Crushed graham on top of the ice cream, so yeah. Let's try and have a bite on this one. Texture of the waffles on this one. Really soaks up the flavor of the chocolate syrup, the vanilla ice cream. Then the ice cream is a good contrast with the very sweet flavor of the chocolate syrup. here at Cow's Cake Site. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, the service is great. The food is full of flavor and delicious. Almost everything comes with two sauces, coleslaw salad, and some french fries as well. So definitely, you'll be able to eat more meat. Waffle a la mode it was also amazing. Yeah, it will satisfy your sweet tooth. Almost all of the food were cooked to perfection. You can definitely tell from each bite we have. All of the meat juice will definitely leave its car on your taste buds. It was absolutely a great food experience for me here at Cal's Take Site. I would definitely recommend you guys to visit this place. They're located at Central Park, Batulo Street. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is Mian's Day, and I'll see you in the next one. I guess this is gonna be it for today.